They've gone from making history on your living room floor to Colombia, to Japan, to Afghanistan, to the very stars in spaceships. But now, Pinky and Betty Crocker are about to face their biggest challenge yet when they enter the labyrinth and rescue the princess. Yes, it's time once again for the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament and we are about to finally put a cap on the long, brutal Beralti leg uh, to see who gets to move on and become a Beralti in Time Agent. And here we have the game, lovingly handcrafted by the Rocking Horse Dreams. Here are two competitors, the Blue Knight, which is Betty Crocker, and the Red Knight, which is Pinky. They must negotiate this labyrinth here and um, try while trying to avoid the Minotaur in order to rescue the princess. Now they need to do more than just rescue the princess, however, because they must also win her over. In order to do that, they have to find uh, some of her special possessions that she lost. Because she's a princess, she's accustomed to having all these possessions and she doesn't want to be rescued without them. So they're going to be rolling and then moving around this labyrinth and there's going to be these different events that happen who we don't know what they are, um, but they are in here. And they're going to try to collect these items and bring them to the princess. Now if someone gets there with four items before the other person, then the other person has no other choice but to face the Minotaur because the only thing she treasures more than her possessions are the Minotaur's horns because then she thinks you're really impressive and she will marry you or else leave the labyrinth with you. Um, if that player doesn't beat the Minotaur, then the person who brought the four items wins automatically. Uh, conversely, a player could just go try and beat the Minotaur and get their horns and win that way. But that's easier said than done because the Minotaur is much stronger than the Knights. Although the Knights do have armor, the Minotaur is like really big and has a large mallet. First big roll of the game, we're gonna see who goes first. Betty Crocker rolls a five and Pinky rolls a one. Betty Crocker's gonna go first. He's gonna roll one D6, one. So he can go one space in any direction. I think he could just bop her right there and then she has to go to two. <laughs> Whoops, I can't laugh or everything falls down. Pinky, you are trapped in a seemingly endless corridor. On your turn, roll the die. It's your turn right now. One, uh, one annoying thing about this game is it says dice for a singular die. It's really just one die, but it keeps calling it dice. That's the only annoying thing about the game. So she got a four, so she found her way out. If you look at this table here, you have found your way out and you advance your player piece to the start squares. Now, see I wonder if she couldn't just bop him in return, but I don't know. It says generally if you, you have to roll the dice in order to do that, but let's take a look at that rule. It doesn't say explicitly, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say she can just bop Betty Crocker, um, and now Betty Crocker has to roll to see if he can get out. And if he can get out, then he can bop her in return and he can. So she's bopped and she goes back to the endless corridor and then she's got a roll to get out and she's stuck. So now Betty Crocker gets to move for real and then we'll, we've ended that kind of bopping loop with the endless corridor and endless bopping. Six. So where does he want to go? Let me think about that. That's where he moved. Um, a bit about movement, you can't retrace your steps within a given roll, so you can't go to a square that you've already been on, but other than that, I'm pretty sure you can just move around. So now Pinky's going to try and get out of the endless corridor again. She's still trapped. Betty Crocker's going to go. One. He gets to move one space in any direction. Pinky's going to try to get out. Four. She's out. And she'll, yeah, she'll go there. Betty Crocker's turn. He really wants to get a three right now because then he's going to get to that 11 space. And the circled spaces are good according to the rules. He got a one. He's edging closer to that coveted 11 space. Pinky's turn to move. Five. One, two, three, four, five. She doesn't want to hit that 13. It doesn't have a circle, so it's probably bad. Um, I think anywhere she goes, though. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. She's going to have to hit one of those 13s no matter which way she goes. So I think she'll go this way, two, three, four, five, in the hopes that she can bop him later if she survives whatever this is. So 13. You encounter a wandering zombie. Roll the die, dice and follow these instructions. Okay. Looks like only if she rolls a one she's dead <laughs> and our game's over but i guess then betty crocker is going to have to try to still win on his own rolls two she's poisoned if she rolls three three or higher she's okay All right. she's okay she um killed the zombie so i don't know how that's different from six which is you slip past the zombie either way i don't think you get anything for getting past the zombie all right betty crocker gets to go now he's really hoping to get a two he did not. He got a four, which is twice two. Um, he might just continue on. One, two, three, four. Over to there. Back to Pinky. Six. This is a lot of action for you. I know. I, I, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, she's not quite there. And she doesn't want to get that close to him. Because then if he rolls a one... Well, if he rolls a one, then he has to decide whether to get that object or to bop her. I think she's going to follow him. That's the way Pinky's going to do it. He rolls a five. Can you get to anything with five? One, two, three, four, five. Not quite there. Um, yeah, he'll go here. And then Pinky's turn. Oh, too bad. She was one space away from him before. She's going to keep going towards him. Betty Crocker rolled a one. Ooh, that's a circled space. Let's see what we got. You found the princess's hairbrush. If the token is not yet taken, you may take possession of it. Hairbrush. Da -da -ding. Pinky's turn. She would sure love to roll a four right now. Wipe that smug grin off of Betty Crocker's face. She rolled a three. That's not a four. Ooh, if she had rolled a five, that would have been nice too. Where is she going to go? One, two, three, I guess. She's going to keep chasing him. I don't know that that's that wise, but she doesn't really know what else to do. Six for Betty Crocker. He probably wants to get out of there. He can hit the seven space. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's see what the seven space has in store. You have chanced into a lucky spot. You may choose any available token that is not already taken, but not the Minotaur's horns. So what would he like? I think he would like the princess's diary. The diary has some special rules, if I recall. Yes, um, so he can decide to read the diary. If he rolls a one or two, he discovers nothing. If he rolls a three or four, he has to read, he reads something private that he shouldn't know, and he, has, he loses the diary and goes back to start. If he rolls a five or six, he read something that will help her, and he can get another token as well. All right. I think he's going to risk it. He got a two, so nothing happens. All right, Pinky's turn. Three. What can she do with three? Oh, she would have hit that 15 spot, but it's already taken. She could keep chasing him, but that seems like it's not been going well for her. I think she's going to go this way. One, two, three. Try and hit these objects here. Back to Betty Crocker. He got another big six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He, that's an eight. One, two. I'm going to assume, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll go up here. Okay. Pinky's turn. A four. That's not a bad one. But then this is a tough one to get through. There's a 13 and a six there. Maybe she'll go back the way she came. Or she go one, two, three, four, then maybe get to this four here. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay. And Betty Crocker got a four, and that's going to get him the ten spot. This is going fast. Oh, that's the princess's diary. What did I? Oh, yeah, because he got it. Yeah, I see. So, that's pretty good for him. I don't know. She should have gone for the lucky sevens. Yeah, Pinky's turn. Four. Um... One, two, three, four. And she could go up that way, or one, two, three, four. I wonder, yeah, one, two, three, four. She'll go down this dead end. 
All right, back to Betty Crocker. He got a three. One, two, three. One, two, three, the 16 spot. Let's see what there is there. You find a magical scroll of teleportation. If you're playing a two-player game, you get to roll again. If you're playing a one-player game, you get to move any number of squares. Up to six. It's a two-player game, so he's going to roll again. And he got a one. I think he'll head back this way. One. Back to Pinky. I wonder if you can keep hitting the lucky spot. Otherwise... Take a look at seven. Oops. The page knocked everyone over. You have a chance to... I guess you can keep going go to the lucky spot, so maybe he'll try to go back there. And Pinky probably wants to go there too. All right. Two. That was Pinky's roll. One, two. She wants to check down this hallway. Betty Crocker, he got a two. Two, pinky, five. Now, I'm going to rule that she can just go to the end there and stop. I don't know. I'm going to check the movement rules. I think she can stop there because it says you can only touch a square once. So she moves this way. She, it's impossible for her to go back. So the rules kind of save her, and she gets the four. Let's see what four is. If you get really good at this game, you'd have all these memorized and you could really strategize. She's found the princess's ring. Take possession of the ring token. All right. Ba -da -ding. It's a ring. Betty Crocker. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's where he'll go right there. And then Pinky. It's two to one for those of you not keeping track. One, two, three, four. Betty Crocker. She's got to really get him back. He's going to go back to the lucky spot so he can get any one thing. And I think this time he'll take a mirror. If he gets one more item, he can go for it. Pinky's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. She's got to get to him quick. Betty Crocker's turn. Two. Hmm. I guess he'll go here. And Pinky. One. That's not the roll she wanted. She wanted to be able to move further than one. Betty Crocker's turn. Six. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess he'll go over here. He's kind of getting kind of far afield, but he wants to stay away from Pinky, too. All right. Pinky's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. She's getting close to the lucky spot. That's kind of what she needs to catch up. Betty Crocker, six. He could go back to the lucky spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. But he wouldn't quite get there. Or he could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I think he's going to do that and hope he can pick up one more item <coughs> and then go to the princess spot. Um, Pinky's turn. One, two, three, four. She gets to take an item. She'll take, I think, a bracelet. Betty Crocker. Three. He wanted a one or a four, and he didn't get it. So he's going to go one, two, three, and he's kind of he's kind of losing his way now in this labyrinth that he entered to rescue the princess. Pinky. One, two, three, four. She can't do that. One, two, three, four. Right there. All right, Betty Crocker. Five. That's bad both ways. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to have to chance this 13. That's a zombie, if I recall. Yeah. So if he rolls a 1, he's dead. If he rolls a 2, he's poisoned. Anything else, he's okay. He's okay. He, he killed a zombie. All right. Pinky's turn. 4. That's a good one for her. 1, 2, 3, 4. She got a lucky spot. She'll take the locket. All right, so it's three to three. Whoever gets the pouch wins, or gets the four items. Um, there's no, I'm not sure which one's the pouch spot, and I'm not gonna cheat and look. I don't know if it's cheating. It doesn't say you can't look, but I'm not gonna look. It's more fun not knowing. All right, Betty Crocker's turn. He got a one. That's good. He can go to this nine spot. Now, if this is the pouch, he has what he needs to woo the princess. 
pouch. You found the princess's bracelet. If you, you know, you can't have that because she already has the bracelet. Now it's Pinky's turn. She got a three. Wasn't she here? Well, it looked like she was there, so I'll put her there. One, two, three. Betty Crocker. Three, perfect. One, two, three. That's the 16 spot. That is going to give him the magical scroll of teleportation. So he gets to roll again. Ooh, Does he, he doesn't have quite enough to get to her. He's in a dangerous corridor. Six. So he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and possibly bonk her. He's got to do. Some, he's got to get back to the lucky spot because he's not going to get a pouch in this corridor. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he'll go there. That's dangerous, but he doesn't really have a lot of other choice. Pinky's turn. She gets a one. She goes to the lucky spot. Pinky has the pouch. Betty Crocker really wants to get a three right now. He got a six. That's not a three. And the lucky spot won't help him. Hmm. He's got to prepare himself for fighting the Minotaur, which means he has to find the magic axe, which gives him a little bit of a better chance. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. He'd have to fight a zombie there. Oh, that's tough. But the other way is one, two, three, four, five, six, a teleporter. Okay, he'll go to the teleporter. And where's that D6? The dice. One. So he doesn't know what 17 is, but he does know that the zombie is. Um, he'll go to th the zombie. The devil you don't know, or the devil you know. You got a two, so he's poisoned. If you roll two, then you kill the zombie, but not until after it has bitten you. You have zombie poison in you, and you cannot think straight. Cannot pick up any tokens, but you can take your turn as normal by rolling the dice. You have to get to square 14, which is right here. Um, which is where gas, a gas coming out of a hole in the wall will cure you of zombie poison. Then on your next turn, you can continue to play as normal. So... What's, how is the poison hurting him, exactly? You cannot think straight, but you can take your turns as normal. You have to get to square 14. I guess he's just compelled to go towards square 14. Um, but there's nothing, the poison doesn't really seem to do anything. So I'm going to just read it to mean that he has to move towards square 14. All right, uh, Pinky's turn, three. Now she's just going to the princess now, one, two, three. Betty Crocker, going towards square 14, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he bonked her. She's in an endless corridor. Um, I don't know if she loses items by doing that. Some things make you lose items. Nope. Gotta watch the, tur the page turning there. Okay, so she's in that endless corridor that we're so familiar with. Betty Crocker's turn. He got a one, and he has to move towards the zombie gas, so he's going to go there, um, fighting another zombie, and the zombie has killed him. So he's dead. <laughs> um, so we'll see if, if Peaky pretty much just has to make it to the princess, and then she's our Baralti player. Let's see if she can do it. So she has to get out of here. I, I could have her keep rolling, but I guess I'll follow the rules. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. She gets as many turns as she wants. This would have been nice for Betty Crocker if he was still alive. There we go. So she goes back to start, and then she just has to be moving. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eleven. That's an object someone already got, right? Yeah. Oh, no, the money pouch. Okay. Well, there it is. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, she could fight a zombie or not. I think she'll say not. There's four in either way. One, two, three, four. So she's got to backtrack a little bit. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Gets her past the zombie. Now it might be this game that you have to stop on those numbered spaces. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not explicit about that. Um, I think I had people bypassing the Minotaur there. She doesn't want to go there. One, two, three, 
six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, it's frustrating. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, is she here? No, she was six away from this. She was here. So, I think she's kind of, she either has to go here or um, fight a zombie. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've seen how fighting a zombie is not so great. One, she'll go back. One, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Not so good. One, two, three, four, five. She'll go right here. Two. One, two. And that was the something some, someone already got. Yeah, the hairbrush. Okay. One, two, three. Bypass that zombie. One, just getting closer. One, smart thinking, Pinky. Take it nice and slow. One, that's too slow. Back up a little bit, rethink what you're doing. No, no, no! She has to fight a zombie. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> they're both dead. All right, well, we'll end this episode of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament with both of them dead, and then we'll try it again. Next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, Brawlty Leg 7, enter the labyrinth and rescue the princess if you dare.